This is Cindy Gladue, an indigenous mother of three who was found dead in a hotel room on June 22, 2011 in Edmonton, Canada. Her naked body had been found in a blood-soaked bathtub. It was discovered that she had bled to death after suffering an 11 centimeter wound to her vaginal wall. A man named Bradley Barton would be arrested for her murder. He had insisted to police that they had had rough sex but that it was consensual and that he was shocked when he found her dead in the morning. He claimed that he had panicked and failed to call for help because he was worried his wife would find out about Cindy. He only called 911 after checking out of the hotel, grabbing a coffee, and sharing some details of the evening with his coworker. His original story to the 911 operator and to investigators was that Cindy had knocked on his motel room door asking to use his shower. And after he let her in, he went to sleep and then he discovered her dead the next morning. However, investigators Investigators discovered that Cindy and Bradley had spent a night together, exchanged phone numbers, and met up again the next night, the night that Cindy died. Cindy's autopsy would reveal that Cindy had more than four times the legal limit of alcohol in her bloodstream when she died. At trial, the Crown argued that Cindy was most likely too drunk to even provide consent for sexual activity. At Bradley's first trial, he was actually acquitted of Cindy's murder. However, this triggered outrage in the public, calls for change of the legal system and how indigenous women are treated. In 2017, the Alberta Court of Appeal overturned his acquittal and a new murder trial was ordered. In 2019, that decision was partially overturned. A trial was ordered for the manslaughter charge only, not for first degree murder. In 2021, he was convicted of manslaughter by an 11 person jury and sentenced to 12 and a half years in prison. Bradley Barton is now requesting a third trial, asking the court to set aside his conviction. Even if this man serves the full 12 and a half years, he will be out of prison and be able to live his life, even though Cindy lost her life and her three children have to live forever without their mother. 